Good morning, friends. Today, we are going to study around the concept of fraction. Now, we all deal with fraction at some point in time or the other. So, the first thing which comes up is, what is the meaning of fraction? Basically, we see that there are various objects which are available in completeness. So, say suppose there is an apple that is available. Now, this apple is a complete whole. You say whole apple, which means one complete apple. Now, suppose you divide this apple into two equal parts. You have part A and you have part B. Each of these part is called a fraction or a part. Just like you say, you know, he is a part of this team. Suppose you have a cricket team. There are 11 people in that. What do you say? You say this guy is a member of that team. What does that mean? That basically means that he is one of the players in the team. So, likewise, fraction means part of. And when it is called a fraction, basically, fraction refers to equal parts. So, if you divide this apple, say, into three unequal parts, suppose you have this apple, you divide it like this, 1, 2, 3, so this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. These parts are not equal. So, therefore, they are not called a fraction. A fraction is a part of a complete whole which is equal to the other fractions in that part. Now, how do you write fraction? You saw you had whole numbers, natural numbers and integers numbers which were 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. These are all the components. Now, what, do, what, what does this part represent? If I were to ask you, you know, what does this part represent? What does this part represent? This is half of the total. And what does that mean? That means that if this apple is divided into how many parts? This is divided into two parts. This is what? This is one part out of the two parts of the apple. So how do you write a fraction? You write the fraction as 1 divided by 2. Why? because this apple has been divided into two parts and this fraction is what? This is one of those two parts. Suppose if this apple were divided into three parts and let's for a moment assume that all these three parts are equal. Then what does this particular fraction represent? This is one part of the three fractions of this apple. So you write it as one by three. Are you clear? Let me explain this to you through another example now. Okay. Let's suppose, let's take a circle which is divided into how many parts? 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 parts in this circle. If suppose I were to color, now how many parts have I colored? I have colored 3 parts out of 8. If I have to write this as a fraction, a fraction is basically a representation of a portion of a part of one complete whole. So if I have to write this as a fraction, I would write this as 3 divided by 8. The sign is called the division sign. Now, this number on the top is called the numerator. And the number which comes in the bottom is called the denominator.
let me take another example. Suppose there is a family of Ram and Sita. Ram one day got free, what do you want? Pepsi. Free Pepsi at home. Both of them decided that they would share this equally. Now we know by simple division both of them will get 1 and 1. This is for Ram, this is for Sita. After dividing these two between the two of them, we are left with one more Pepsi. So this Pepsi can go half and half to both of them. So how many part do we need to divide this Pepsi into? How many people are there? There are two people, Ram and Sita. So this has to be divided into two parts. So this 2 is my denominator. How much would Ram get? Ram would get one part out of this 2. So he gets one part out of 2. So he gets half of this. What is remaining is another half which goes to Sita. So fractions are basically meant to find out a proportion of the total thing. Suppose, again, let me take another example here. I have a square. Someone asks me, can you color two, two third of this square? Sorry, we have four parts, so we can't have a two third. So we have four parts. I was asked to color one fourth of the square one fraction of the square. Now how many fractions are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. I have to color any one of them. So I choose this one and I color it all. If suppose I was supposed to ask half of the square. Now how do you write half? Half is what? Half is how do you arrive at a half of a apple? By dividing it into two parts. So dividing by two. And how much is half? It's only one part of this. So one by two or how many parts are there in this? There are four. So I multiply both of them by two. So two by four. So what I do is I color the second half as well.